So many students are taking standardized tests each year that testing companies are becoming overwhelmed grading standardized test essays. Traditional human graders are expensive and can take weeks to grade all the essays. So many test essays are now graded by computers. To show the problems with automatic essay scoring, MIT professor Les Perelman developed a computer program Babel Generator, which takes three keywords and generates carefully constructed gibberish essays that receive high scores from computers. Perelman argued that we should only use human graders, but interestingly, computers assign the same grade as humans 93% of the time. Furthermore, computer grading is so cheap that it's increasing in popularity despite complaints against it. Telling companies you should use human graders isn't working, so instead we should figure out how computer graders can be improved by pinpointing what aspects of an argument computer graders cannot evaluate. To do this, I decided to analyze three Babel-generated essays and look for any features of arguments in these essays. Perelman's goal was to show that automated essay scoring is awful, so we tried to construct essays that are as nonsensical as possible while still scoring highly. If there is a feature of an argument in a Babel essay, like a thesis statement, then Perelman had to design Babel to include a thesis because computers are evaluating thesis statements. On the other hand, if something fundamental, like a conclusion, is missing, then automated essay scores can't evaluate a conclusion since they aren't docking points for the lack of one. I took three GRE prompts and entered keywords from those prompts into Babel. I found that in these essays, there was no meaning at the document, paragraph, or even sentence levels. However, there was some presence of an argument. The essays had a logical form, or in other words, skeletal structure of an argument. The first paragraph was modeled like an introduction. The body paragraphs brought in quote unquote evidence. And the final paragraph was modeled like a conclusion. These findings suggest that computer graders can't access an argument's meaning but they can access its structure. The vast majority of students aren't trying to trick computers like Perelman was, meaning that essays with a strong logical form tend to be solid arguments. Therefore, by evaluating an essay's logical form, computer graders can mimic the understanding of an argument. This is how automated essay scoring achieves a 93% match rate with human graders. It is possible for students to, like Babel Generator, game automated essay scoring because the computer graders fundamentally can't comprehend the argument. For automated essay scoring to be as accurate as human graders, companies must improve the text comprehension component of computer graders.